sorry we are back with another really crazy experiment so i wanted to do this one just because when i was doing the soap technique the dish soap technique um one of my titles it, it started to sound a little bit like the saying in the film hannibal he puts the lotion in the basket i think it goes she puts the lotion on the skin now i want to do it with resin I really don't know how this is going to work or how I'm going to do it. So I'm hoping it's going to give us some kind of texture. If it cures, I really don't know. So I'm going to be doing this with um, UV resin, but I, I presume two-part resin would work, but it depends on what we do with it. So I think <laughs> I'm just, I don't even know how thick this is. Oh my god, that is really, really thick. It's not even self-leveling. It's that thick. Um, again, you could be wondering why. Just, just because I like to experiment with different things. How they react, how they work. And by doing that, we can unlock some, some different techniques. Um, I don't think this one's going to be a great one. But you never know. I'm just going to spread that around. Now, I'm fully aware UV resin won't cure through that properly because it is opaque. But I think we can get some good texture if it does work. I'm just going to spread that around. I think that would do. Just come up the side here, maybe. I don't know. I'm making it up. That's what I like to do. So I'm just going to pour my resin onto that now. I think we're going to get some bubbles. We're going to find out. The resin is not sinking. It's not working its way through the, the baby lotion. Just trying to get it in all the nooks and crannies that I can. What am I going to do with it afterwards, though? That is the question. I'm just going to bring this up now to the edge of the mould. <laughs> what are you doing, Dan? What are you doing? This is probably one of the weirdest experiments that I've done. Okay. I can see a couple of tiny tiny bubbles stuck down in there can I get them up come on it's being stubborn no it's, it's staying where it wants to be okay so I'm just gonna top that up a little bit more on this edge and then cure it what's gonna happen who knows I think I said Hannibal, it's Silence of the Lambs. Classic film. I'm starting another one before I even see the results. <laughs> For the first one. Because I think it's going to cure. I just, I'm not sure about that underside. But if we're going to do it, we might as well go all out. Just kind of draw in a design, I suppose. Okay, that's coming up to, I've given it two minutes. Let's see if it's, it's hard on the back. I can see that lotion moving around underneath. I'm going to try and just cure from the underside for another two minutes. And I like to do mine this way. Lots of people say use a mirror, but I don't like it bouncing back into my eyes sometimes. This works for me. I mean, with this mold, the mirror can't really bounce it off into my eyes but you know what I mean okay <laughs> let's see what kind of a yucky mess we've got I know the lotion is going to be there still but we can scoop that up stick it in a separate pot do not put that on your skin whatever you do I can see some awesome texture on that one it's messy but it's all part of the fun so, because I'm expecting some of that resin to be a little bit icky, maybe not cured, 
Oh, I don't know. It's not, it doesn't feel tacky. That feels that feels solid. There's no kind of inhibition there. But just to be safe, I'm going to just pop that in my water, and it's not really washing it off. But I'm going to do a water cure anyway, just in case. And then I just need to wipe away all of that excess, all that excess lotion. Okay, now this is actually pretty crazy. The texture that we've got there. So I, I think maybe we're quite limited with UV resin. I don't know. I'm, I'm now wondering what can we do with them. We can't, can't really dome them. What I'd like to do is brush something over the top. I suppose I could, if I took my time, brush something over that and then just be very careful bringing the resin layer to the sides. But I'm wondering if we could do it in reverse. So what I mean by that is putting the resin in first. But the trouble is this is really thick. I'm not sure it's going to work. But... As I always say to the questions in the comments, you don't know until you try these things. Um, many, many questions of people asking, what if I do this, what if I do that? I mean, I understand that resin's not cheap and it's, it's easier for me to try some things for you, but sometimes you do just have to experiment. As long as you're doing it safely, don't go mixing you know, harsh chemicals or things that could be dangerous to your resin. And for a start, I've definitely put too much in there. So I managed to scrape some back into my bottle. I, I don't know how this is going to work because I think the lotion is going to be heavier than the resin. And it doesn't want to come off my stick, which is really not helpful. Let me get another stick. So what I want to be able to do is actually work on the back. It's going to sink, isn't it? I'm, guys, I'm not expecting you to try this at home. This is really, <laughs> really messy. I'm just going to try and cover that back without disturbing the resin too much. Don't want the resin coming over the back of the lotion, but I think it's gonna. I think just cure it. I think I think this isn't gonna work. I don't think this is gonna work. I mean, and this way definitely won't work with epoxy because the lotion will just sink, and it will hit the front of the mold. It just won't work. Creamy. Okay, so that is quite interesting. That actually is really, really interesting. And that's left us with kind of a void that we can work with. There's a few bits that need trimming off. But it's it's quite crazy. Almost, oh, I am missing a little bit of the, the heart shape at the bottom there. I think I can work that back out. Right, let's let's have a play with um, what we've got. Yeah, I'm thinking the nail powders, the metallic or the nail powders, are going to be ideal for this. Um, you've seen me use them in previous videos, especially my natural stone videos. If you haven't seen them, check them out. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. So, I think a brush is going to be better than using one of the applicators. So just an old paintbrush. So with this one, I'm gonna go in, again, I wish they'd name or label these pots, because it really is difficult for you to mm -hmm. see which ones I'm using. It's like a purple into green. Sometimes we get a gold vibe with this as well. And we're just gonna take that and then brush that all over the inside. And I've left a little corner there. I'm just going to go in with some of the blue. Just to break it up a little bit. 
You could use interference powders, mica powders, if you even try this. <laughs> now as for these, I suppose what I could do is coat the back, but I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I mean, there's no roughness to that front. I think we'll try one on the front and then the other one on the back. So I've changed colours now. We're going to do this one on the front. And the other one, I'm going to brush it on the back and then just top coat them. But I'll skip that part. I'll just use a black mica powder uh, for this one, clear. <laughs> so as always, I haven't added too much. I'm just going to slowly fill in these cavities. I've done it again. <laughs> I'm going to just slowly fill up these backs. So this is the one that I brushed the front. I decided I'd, I should go with a black background, but I just didn't. I've lost some of the effects because we've had to top coat it and some bubbles in there. It's not, it's not wonderful. This was the one that we did from the back. It's much better. There is a matte finish to the surface where it was resting on the lotion. But that is still really stunning, almost like a moonstone flash, but with that added ripple, got some dust on the front there, I need to wash that off where I lent it on the paper where I was dusting, that's a bit better. Yeah, it's a crazy effect though, um, so something that I wanted to try and it's, it's it's actually worked <laughs> and this is the weird one it really is weird again my, my mold's a bit dull couldn't really work on that corner but I could always glaze this there's a couple of imperfections there but it really is a weird effect as always give the video a thumbs up drop me a comment if you haven't subscribed hit the button for me I will see you for the next one bye for now